My name is Jamie Bissonette. We're in the south end of Boston, driving from Copa to Toro uh, to do our culinary dream date with Toyota Siena and Serious Eats. It's going to be a wicked fun day. Toro is Barcelona-inspired, Spanish-influenced tapas restaurant, but we don't have any rules. We can do whatever we want. It's like choose your own adventure with food. Instead of getting a 15-course tasting menu, you can have seven to 15 different tapas. Uh, when luckily, our, our guests and our staff are behind it. You know, the rule for us is flavor is key, and we just have fun. We cook the foods that we want to eat. Once it gets cold out, the, the, what we want to do is drive around. When we're looking at what kind of car we're going to drive from restaurant to restaurant, we need something that's easily maneuverable, easy to park, and something that's got space for staff. I mean, we're either shuttling staff or food, and we need to have plenty of space to pack it up. I mean, I pride myself in being an amazing parker, but this is very helpful. I haven't had a car in 10 years, and this makes me want a car. My name is Jeannie, and I'm Adam's wife. We've been married 11 years, almost. I nominated him for a serious eats contest. He likes to cook and eat good food. He makes all kinds of yummy things at home, and our son likes to cook with him. So that's one of the other reasons I nominated him, too. You know, baking's really great, because you know, you, you measure out ingredients, and then you bring the kid into the kitchen. Children love dumping things into bowls, <laughs> from other bowls. We're going to Toro, which is a tapas restaurant in the South End where we live, and it's very popular and hard to get into. We want to watch movies. <laughs> Do you have any movie spots uh, for our, our, our but dual this is video? One. It's a no, because it's one dual. and then there's two. It's oh two, one God. on each side. Well, I think it's supposed to be the kids <laughs> in the back. So, like, when you have kids all the way in the back, you know, for soccer practice, and you're like, kids, stop hitting each other. You know, they listen to you, maybe. But probably not. Oh, we're, we're here. here. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. This is a It was very comfy. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm Hi. Amy. I'm Jamie. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Adam. Nice, nice to meet you. Welcome to Toro. Is there anything good? you don't like? She really Thank likes you. anchovies. Done. These are bocarones, and that's pan con tomate. I also love anchovies, so I was excited for that. For the uh, anchovies. They were delicious. Awesome. Next, we have Canina Cabra. So it's a uh, goat's milk cheese with a bloomy rind. All the sauces will kind of uh, integrate as you eat. One of our most popular things on the menu, the traditional style street corn. Not a Spanish tapa, more of a Mexican dish, but we love it here. Oh, no. The corn is really, really good. Surprisingly good not, for being out of season. Like Just in case you uh, are still super hungry, this is a, uh, a little crab and lardo toast. So it's cured uh, pork fat basically with crab salad, a little avocado and black garlic sauce. So this is our paella, chorizo, lobster stock, mussels, clams and calasparra rice. Scrape the bottom. That's the best part. It's the name. Though. I'm beginning to have a lot more appreciation for like what restaurants and chefs actually go through. Cool. Thank this you very much. Awesome. Well, I hope you uh, really had a culinary Dream. We had we a had great a time. Thank, thank you so you, much. Jamie. Yeah, thank really you for coming nice in. It's a pleasure to have you.